Hey, what's up, YouTube? Checking out Let Me Dan's version of Slim LP, otherwise known as Twisted Slim LP. Uh, this is a build from January 27th, which is the latest version available. It does feature a lean kernel, 1.9. It runs Android 5.0.2, and you will have to dirty flash each update accordingly. As you can see, it does feature a dark material theme. You do have twisted tweaks, personalization menus, and interface options, which is going to have some condensed features. Inside the Twisted Tweaks, you have your Viper for Android Equalizer built in. You do have the ability to adjust your nav bar. You can disable it completely or go through the strings and values here to your personal preference. Do be aware though that the clear all is actually baked into the default lollipop nav bar with this specific ROM. So if you are going to use that, you're most likely going to have to use the nav bar included. If you are going to install a custom nav bar, you will not have clear all recents because it will not be baked in. So do be aware of that. It's a pretty cool feature, but if you're not going to use the Lollipop stock Android uh, nav bar, that could be an issue for you and you might not be interested in this ROM. You do have interface menus as well, and in here you're going to find your status bar settings, and you can basically adjust your clock. You can disable that. You can change the color. You can go in and adjust your alignment. You can change A and PMs or adjust the clock to display any specific preference you want like the actual Monday through Sunday or give it a custom string through the date format options available. You do have the ability to change your battery icon. You can go through icon portrait landscape, you can change it by circle or text and you can in fact put it the percentage that is inside the icon next to the icon or disable it completely. There is no ability to change the color however like you can find in some other ROMs. You do have the brightness controller on the status bar, swiping from left to right. You do have a notification ticker, and you do have double tap to sleep on the status bar, as well as double tap to wake, fully integrated and functional. You do have quick settings, and in quick settings, you're going to find your quick pull down options. You can disable this or enable it based on right or left handed use. You do have quick pull down options available to choose and you do have your quick settings where you can adjust your tiles based on your preference and accessibility. You can in fact add and delete them as well and you can enable main quick settings which is going to highlight two that you use more often than most or you can disable that to take up a little less real estate so you can access more notifications. You also have the ability to enable advanced location quick settings and with this option you can in fact, just get into the mode settings without going into a separate settings layer or specific panel. You can also disable that with the toggle on top. You have display options here where you can adjust your font size on a percentage value. You do have full rotation if you want to enable that feature. And you do have your ambient display timeouts in case you want to uh, adjust that based on long or short term usage on your display. And you do have a prevental wake up which is going to check the proximity sensor. So if the phone is in your pocket or face down on a table, most likely it's not going to fire that ambient display and waste your battery. You also have sound and notification options in here. You do have some advanced options where you can disable your camera shutter sound, your safe headset volume warning. You can adjust the volume rocker to seek music tracks when the display is off. And you can do less frequent notification sounds I do believe there's also a heads up timer that you can change. You can turn that off or go from 4 to 10 seconds. You do have security settings and in here you're going to have your privacy guard. You can enable that to not access your personal data based on apps or you can enable it all on all apps if you want to. And you do have the ability to enable the advanced reboot options. If you want to hide that on your lock screen, you will have that as well. In developer options, you will have some quicker animation scales to choose from. Some ROMs do not give you the .25x, but you can in fact enable it in here. That's pretty much Twisted Slim LP by Let Me Dance in a nutshell. You may be able to flash other kernels. I would suggest you read the XDA forum thread before you do. And you can in fact dirty flash without any issues. Anyways guys, that pretty much sums this up. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoy the Twisted Slim LP if you give it a try. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.